is Europa next after Mars. So in a podcast recently, I talked about a roadmap of the Milky Way galaxy and how we need to start developing like an encyclopedia roadmap of like what's in our solar system and, and beyond to kind of lay out a framework for what colonization will look like. Like the NSS, National Space Society Roadmap, it, it's heavily focused on the moon and Mars, a little bit on asteroids, but we don't really have like a 50, 100, 200 year plan. We seem to have like about a five year plan you know, Elon Musk talks about colonizing Mars to a million people in the next 50 years. But we really need to start thinking about the whole solar system and beyond what that could look like in 50 or 100 years to start developing ideas and products for infrastructure. Uh, you know, like what way stations would look like. I mean, it's interesting. I, I heard Fitz Surf inter- interviewed and they're developing interplanetary uh, internet so that you, we can communicate between planets. That's the kind of thing that we need in terms of like, you know, what is VR going to be like? What is, uh, you know, Internet of Things going to be like? What is blockchain going to be like? So once we have the systems that can connect different places in our solar system and beyond, uh, you know, what kind of propulsion is going to be, you know, related to the different travels? Uh, what is society going to look like? What is governance going to look like? What is finance going to look like? What is employment going to look like? What is recreation going to look like? Um, you know, these are the things that we need to start considering. So there is a probe going to Europa. I mean, Europa's been pretty much studied and they think that there is an underground ocean uh, with geysers uh, and that possibly it has the conditions that could uh, support already bacterial life. Um, there's another probe coming in 2025 that's going to reach by the end of the decade and uh, also a European Space Agency. I believe I believe the NASA probe, if that's what it is, is going to circle it 44 times before going to one of uh, uh, Jupiter's other moons and the European Space Agency is going to uh, go twice. There's already been probes uh, that have... Uh, at least one, maybe more, of Europa previously. I think Voyager 2 was the first, and then I think there was one or more afterwards. So I'm not an expert on Europa, but I know that it's considered one of the uh, uh, prime targets for colonization. I've heard Titan. I don't know anything too much about Titan, but I'm wondering, like, and people talk about the asteroids and colonizing and mining the asteroids, so... After Mars, people talk about also the atmosphere of above Venus. I'm interested to hear what people think in terms of like after Mars, what is next? Is it Europa? Is it Venus? Is it Titan? Is it the asteroids? Uh, you know, what are like on a baseball team? You have like, you know, the number three hitter, the number four hitter, the, the number five hitter. They all build off each other based upon their strengths. Like, what is our um, you know, we have the moon and we have Mars and they're going to work together. Like there's going to be stations on Mars so that we can, we can do, uh, you know, uh, payloads easier to get to Mars from the moon. Um, what is going to be like the next step for Mars? Like, does it make sense to go from Mars to Venus? Does it make sense to go from Mars to the asteroid? Does it make sense to go from Mars to Europa? And what comes after that? Like, how are these things connected? So, that, that is something I think we need to start considering more and more.